Okay, um, good morning. Okay, switching gears. We're switching gears. This is not really stable. Okay, so, um, okay, let me get a chill to sit down so I can read it with you. that over there. Okay, everybody. Switching gears. Um, this thing is so not stable. Okay, I need to find an alternative. Um. Okay, so, today, we are going to be reading about Taurus in school. Now, we did it before. We have read it before. Remember that you were all outside. But that video got deleted. So we're going to do it again. But forget that I even said that. Okay, so. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to open your tablets. Okay, your yeah, tablets. Kindles, okay. Um, open them up to... Um, let's see, um, and then, um, so what we're going to do is turn it on, you know, um, just a little tutorial of how to turn it on, turn it off, okay, um, and so then you're going to go to the category of, now what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to be having you, um, read Taurus in Daily Life, because Taurus and Daily Life is pretty easy and pretty light reading. All you can do is, um, you can, um, um, because all it has is, like, Taurus and at home, Taurus health, Taurus fashion, and, you know, it's pretty, you know, light reading, not a lot of astrological facts and all the information, details, and all that kind of stuff. So I think that that's a pretty fun and light reading section to do. So then, we're at Taurus in school to talk about the learning style, which this is kind of ironic because they're all closed now. All of the, um, all of the schools are shut down because of the virus, because of the pandemic. So, um, let's, um, so what you're going to do when you go to that category is you're going to go down and down is the forward button and to go forward even more then you're going to go down again and then keep when you want to go back you click click the up arrow okay then you can go back and forth okay so um you know um do we get how to do that okay so um let's see What are you doing? Okay. So, let's see. Um, okay. Um, so, the quote, which begins every section, is, um, um, you know, this one says, uh, the most effective way to do it is to do it. You know, you, you know, you won't get anything accomplished if you, you know, you don't actually do something about it. So that should be pretty easy and pretty short. Um, because that's the only way that you'll get it accomplished. So just do it. That one is by Amelia Earhart. Um, and you know who she is, she was, you know, a knight in the museum, she, I think that she sailed over the, um, the Atlantic Ocean, or the Pacific Ocean, I don't really remember which one, but she was the first woman to, well, sail, fly over. Um, a Vedo Pineal author, um, and Taurus Rising. She has a Taurus Ascendant, and a Sun in Leo. 
or on July 24. I don't really know why that's in y'all, but it does apply to the Ascended equally it does to the Sun. Okay, so um, it says, um, it says, and I'm reading, okay? So in school, Taurus children have an even keeled, steady approach to learning. They understand that they'll be given lessons and tasks within certain perimeters. So they're very steady and even keeled about it. And they don't mind this, as what is expected of them will be obvious, and they prefer this kind of clarity. So, you know, clear, clear cut directions, um, you know, given to them in that way. They are determined and diligent. It may take them longer than their peers to complete their assignments, but their work gets done nonetheless. So they're determined. When they start something, they're determined to see it through. They're determined to get it done. And it may take them longer, and we'll touch on that more here. Because that's their, just their style. Because they're one of the slower signs. But the thing still gets done, whatever it is. And they are quite thorough with the work. They're quite meticulous with um, what they're doing and to make it the, um, the best and putting the most effort in it that they can. They won't be satisfied with turning an incomplete work because they really want to do well and strive to put in the effort and the time to do it. So this obviously means deadlines. They want to make it as perfect um, you know, and do it as well as possible. And if it says that heel, then it's going to say that in the book for Capricorn, definitely in the book for Virgo, because they're the, they're, they're the perfectionists of the Zodiac. So the effort and the time. They'll pride themselves on doing high-quality work. So then it goes to talk about, so, you know, they're really good at, you know, really focusing on something and doing it. They want to make it high quality. They want to do it well. So, the most challenging part for Taurus is usually time constraints. If an assignment has a tight deadline, for example, or when they're taking a time test, Taurus students may become stressed out if they much prefer to work at their own pace. Adjusting to fit the system in this way can be difficult for them. They also do, okay, so, um, you know, obviously the time, time constraints doesn't work for them. Uh, they like to take their time, and when there is a tight deadline, when you have a certain number of days or number of hours or minutes to do this thing, that kind of um, stresses them out because it goes against know, them wanting to do really, really well, and it, you know, interferes with that. Um, so, they do, they also do well with hands-on learning, since being able to lose themselves in an immersive experience makes sense to them. So, immersing, so hands-on activities, an immersive experience, using the body, using the senses, um, you know, to do something, rather than just reading or just looking at the whiteboard and sitting and listening to a lecture, you know, they prefer to do something hands-on, like build something or draw something or, you know, whatever it may be, or get outside or, like, you know, go outside and plant something, you know, you know do one of those, like, biology photosynthesis process, um, projects. Um, that would really be good for Taurus. Therefore, field trips, recess, gym, theater, and band class may be some of their favorites, as they allow them to use their bodies to connect to their learning experience. Now, if we talk about gym being physical, recess, getting outside in fresh air and being physical, theater, dancing and acting, and, you know, talking and singing, band class, you know, the attunement to instruments and music. Um, they also enjoy extracurricular activities, allowing them to do the same things such as dance class. So dancing, obviously all of you watching the Dance Moms. 
um, in vocal coaching, singing. Especially if the school schedule doesn't offer them much opportunity to engage physically throughout the day. Um, so, you know, that's the whole thing with a Taurus, okay? So then, later in life, when Taurians decide they might like to pursue higher levels of study, whether it is college or other serious training progress to hone a still skill, later in life, when they go find um, what career that they're going to do, then they will do it so with careful and thoughtful consideration. So they won't just go into it, just, you know, just start something because it might be fun. They just do it and then they just change, change, change. They really ponder it and they really think about it very, very critically and deeply before doing something. And that's also the case with how Torians speak. It's practical, it's well thought, it sounds to the point. And my Mercury, by the way, if you did not know, is in the sign of Taurus. So, if you think about it being very direct and not a lot of nonsense to it, um, and very, you know, you know, a slow, grounded sign, okay? And I've also was watching a video that Mercury and Taurus individuals, um, you know, it's, you know, they kind of, you know, take longer to speak, and, you know, the individuals wonder when you're gonna be done, but I, I don't think that I have that issue, so, um, so anyway, um, so, careful and thoughtful consideration, thinking about it very critically and very carefully, really thinking it through, they weigh all of the options, as Libra does, it's not something that they'll go into lightly, if they value their, they find importance, their time, and the resources, for example, money, how cheap is it, how cheap, how expensive is it, um, and, you know, about, you know, about the, you know, weighing those things down as well, and want to be sure it's the next right step, you know, thinking of something right, finding the happy place, and sticking to it. Not wanting change, you know, sticking there. That's for the Taurus. So they know that once they commit, they're all in. 110%. Once they find something, they're solid as a rock. They or find it, and then they stick to it. Um, and that could go with habits and foods that they like, whatever. So... In terms of careers, they may be drawn to pursue an education in the arts um, that includes a vocal performance, you know, for, you know, professional singers or rock singers or opera singers, I don't know, dancing or even fine art or art history, you know, seeing, seeing. Then with the singing, it's using the voice and then dancing, obviously, the body with the intention of working in a museum where they could be in charge of overseeing and organizing beautiful items. As you'll read in a Taurus home, there's usually art around. That's very Taurus is the thing about art. And also, they're really good at fine-tuning. Fine-tuning means they're really good at putting everything in, um, in, you know, in its place and organizing everything around. That's what fine-tuning is. It's not like knitting and crocheting and all this kind of thing. So, but the one sign that is the queen of that is Virgo. Torians love to be surrounded by attractive things that carry special significance. So, what is real from nature? What is um, what is made from nature natural and what is significant? What is really beautiful and exquisite and natural? Without a doubt. So many Taurus students will go to culinary school to learn skills that enhance their adoration of food. Smelling, looking, tasting. Um, some may gravitate towards studying wine in hopes of becoming a sommelier. A buffet, um, which uses the heightened sense of taste and smell. So, wines. 
obviously you're tasting and you're smelling the wine. Um, I, I, you know, make sure that it's aged properly. And none of you are old enough yet. I'm, okay, well, I'm not going to say it, but, so, the Melbacks, the California Melbacks, have huge great vineyards, huge great vineyards. Um, where they harvest many different varieties, white, purple, and if you ever go there someday, you will be amazed at how huge and how wide and spread apart their fields are, and how fresh and wonderful tasting their grapes and wine is, because they do it all in season, and they do it in the peak of freshness. So that's a very, very popular place for tourists to go. And also, you know, Nature, you know, using their bodies for nature. So, I'm going to grab something. <laughs>